Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft, first few days. Second episode, second set of tasks. We did rather well in the first episode, so let's hope we do rather well in the second. So here we are, back where we were. We had our, our smelting equipment up there and we explored up there as uh, part of the first episode. This episode, we're going to start by going down here. Now, I have two goals for this episode. The first one is to get a load of this stuff, iron. Uh, ideally, I'd like about 30 ingots. The second one is to get back out to uh, close to spawn and do our first bit of building. And if we can do those two in 20 minutes, I shall be very happy. And there we go, we've eaten our first bit of food. So let's get this iron out of the ground. And see where we go from there. A couple more bits there. Just have a quick look behind it just to see. And make sure we're not standing on top of that one. And have a quick look. And here we have lava. Lava is wonderful stuff. It can be used to make uh, obsidian. It can be used to kill things. But right here, right now, it's in the way. So I think, to be totally honest with you, I'd like... Whoa! Oh, well, our first death. I didn't even see that one coming. Okay, let's get back to where we were. And assuming, let's just do a quick F3, just to get those numbers. And let's get back to where we were. Let's see how much stuff we've lost in that horrible lava. I think we're going the right way. Uh, yep, heading west, that should be right. Well, first death of the series, and that was quick, and that was unexpected, and quite frankly, that took about three years off my life, but that's Minecraft for you, I'm afraid. I don't think we're going the right way. Though those hills look right. Um, let's just look a little bit further, and if it's not the case, we'll come back and go in a different direction. No, this is not where we were. Just one moment while I check my notes. Okay, that's not so well. I've the line ended up with the while I was looking for the cave, night fell, and I was starting to get attacked, and I ended up having to duck into here, which you might recognise as the place where we. Uh, first mine cobblestone so it looks like uh, we're gonna have to wait until dawn and start again let's see what's about right let's go and punch a tree hopefully I'll be able to find where I was but uh, I don't really hold much hope on that anymore and quite frankly now that the five minutes has passed there's not really much point we've lost all that yummy stuff we mined in the last episode and we're just gonna have to accept that fact so let's get some tree and let's get some cobblestone let's get our equipment back up again let's find a cave and let's get back to where we were and yeah it's rather unfortunate but in minecraft you you kind of just have to accept that this is going to happen to you from time to time um, especially before you get a decent set of armor which is what I was hoping to do in this episode uh, life is brutal and short and uh, things can often go awry as they have this time but never mind we shall recover from this because we, we weren't that far into the game to be honest with you anyway and we shall recover for it in future by making plans which have a spawn house would have uh, maps, things like that. This is all going to be covered, but until then, we just have to endure and carry on. So let's go and do all the things we did last time. So let's make ourselves a crafting table. And let's make ourselves some sticks. And then let's put down the crafting table. And make ourselves... Wooden pickaxe. But we're used to doing this now, so this is not going to take us a long time to do at all. Let's grab that. Let's just, let's just leave that there, thinking about it. Two, three, 
three pieces of stone and we use those stone to make ourselves a stone pickaxe sounds like we have company oh, okay until he attacks us we'll just carry on here let's just run through this car stone as you can see it's much faster with a stone pickaxe it would be is that coal? That's coal. We'll have that. Thank you very much. So that and one of those give us our first set of torches. Chuck one of those up. It's easy to see what we're doing. So we've got enough stone, but let's just grab this coal before we move on. At least we won't have to make charcoal this time. So there's our first death, second episode, first death. Creepers are wonderful for that. This game gets much easier when you get the equipment, and to be totally honest with you, creepers become not a problem. But uh, until you get the, the right equipment, uh, you you just have to accept the fact that one of them is going to come up behind you. But oh, and that's useful. All of a sudden, I'm liking this place. Let's get some of that iron as well, and let's get that all smelted. Ooh. Huh. Oh. Where did this hole come from? We're we'll going to investigate that in a little bit, but until that, let's uh, get some stuff made. Right. Um, first off, let's make a for ourselves a furnace. And we'll put that down here. No, we'll put that down here. Now we want to smelt that iron, but there's only one piece of iron, so let's go and have another quick look and see if we can find any more iron there. Doesn't look like it, but there's no harm in looking. And smelting one piece of iron is wasteful, and to be honest with you, pretty useless as well. Uh, more of this coal. Might as well carry on down here just for a little bit and see what we can see. So, come on. Okay, let's have a quick look here and see what we've got here. Ah, there's sand there, so this is actually probably the riverbed. Yeah, so let's leave that be and go back up. Sense of leaving that behind, is there? All those. Yeah, okay, that will do. To be honest with you, we've got more than enough coal for our immediate needs. I'm not going to bother smart, uh, smelting that uh, one piece of iron, but I will make myself a sword. Uh, yep. Yeah. So we'll have that there. My few remaining torches there, my pickaxe there, because that's the way I'm used to it. In fact, to be totally honest with you, we've got so much coal. Let's make a few more torches. Like that. There we go. And let's pick this stuff up. And let's make a move. Let's see if we can find some creatures to eat. And a cave for resources. Squid, unfortunately, only give ink. Wouldn't mind a bit of calamari at the moment, to be totally honest with you. But uh, the game doesn't go that far. Oh, you. 
wasn't the best way to kill a skeleton. I will cover that later on, but uh, quite frankly, we're so close to it, it was well worth just rushing forwards and hitting the thing. So, let's carry on down here. See if we can find our way back to the cave. Or well, failing that, let's find ourselves a new cave. Or well, failing that, let's just find ourselves something to eat. Why I'm not panicking, why I'm not bothering, is the fact that uh, in Minecraft, if you uh, leave things on the ground, they despawn after five minutes. So everything we've uh, dropped has gone. It's unfortunate, but it's something you just have to accept as part of the game. And the unexpected creeper always adds to the fun. Right. <laughs> I'm back here. Where do you go? Oh, there you are. Thank you. And there should be a couple of other chickens around here. Hopefully. No, it doesn't look like there is, actually. What's this? Oh, nothing. Oh, there's your friend. That would be useful. Hmm, this is a nice looking place, isn't it? So, let's uh, move on. Now I've got some meat to cook. We've now got some eggs to chuck. And hopefully we'll find down there going down this river a cave fairly soon. Okay. I said hopefully we'll find down down this river a cave fairly soon. If not, this is rapidly going to become an episode on mining rather than caving. Alright, it's an episode on chicken slaughtering rather than caving. <laughs> there we go, that'll do. Come on, give us a hold on the ground. Okay, right. I'm bored with this game now. Is the cave won't come to us? We'll go to the cave. Or something like that. Alright, nope, nothing here. Alright. First thing we're going to do is make ourselves a couple more sticks. Let's make ourselves a quick shovel. And let's make ourselves a hole. Okay, so. Don't have to worry about covering it up because this is not an ultra hardcore match. Though, we're going to be glad for this fairly soon, I should imagine, because it's getting dark. I can hear zombies. Can't tell from which direction. But it does seem to be getting quieter. Stick a torch up here. Hmm. They're either above us or below us. Not sure which. Going down a bit. There we 
go. What have we here? Yeah. Got something for your throat there. There we go. Right, let's get some of this litter up. And then we will get back into the caving mode. Right, okay, so we're back where we were. Well, we're back in the state we were, which is not necessarily a bad thing. There's going to be plenty of stone down here. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. I want your string. And you give me a spider's eye. Okay. Right, this, ladies and gentlemen, if you've not seen one before, is an abandoned mine shaft, and quite frankly, this is the best news I've had all day. So let's get in here, and let's get a little bit organised. Light this up a bit with our few remaining torches. You can see this is a tunnel, it's got railway tracks in it, and let's just make a note of the coordinates i will go through that screen later on and it's also going to have nice little things like chests so it looks like this is where we are exploring today that's a good find so let's get some of this they do tend to be quite good for gathering resources as well so i'm quite happy with this First things first, let's get some torches and our bar. Right, that's, we'll come back to that. Let's have a quick run around here, see what we can find. Iron would be nice. That is a spawner, which means that is a dungeon. That's it. You see the cobblestone walls? This is one of the few occasions you'll see cobblestone. And we need to get in there and take a little bit of damage, but that's okay because what we want to do is light that up to stop the zombies from spawning. And dungeons are. Well, they're odd to be the steel, to be totally honest with you. This is just it. This is a little box of cobblestone with a spawner, and there tends to be one to two chests in there. Not, ooh, ooh, string, I want string, I'll have wheat, in fact, I'll tell you what, we will take all of this, we don't want iron horse, we will we'll take the name tag, where are you, oh, you're down there, I'll be back for you in a bit, we'll take the gold horse armour, and we'll take, oh, cat, one of my favourites, so, that was a good find, in order to deal with a uh, a spawner, fight your way into the middle and illuminate this spinny thing in the middle. If you want some experience points, destroy it. But this is the only one we've found. I might have a use for it later on, so I'm going to leave it for now. So let's carry on in exploring this mine shaft. Plenty of coal. The unexpected bat, always a terrifying thing. Let's dig out that coal to see if there's any iron behind it. Uh, don't think we're going to meet our targets for today, unfortunately, especially seeing as we're almost at 20 minutes now. But I must admit, this uh, has opened up some interesting opportunities for us, so we'll pick those up in the rest of this episode and the next. So let's grab all that. What we desperately need at the moment is food, so let's get some of that sorted out. Let's put our furnace down. And we'll stick that chicken in and we shall... Uh, with some coal, here we go, a piece of coal. And also, as we got this wheat, 
we can make some bread. Uh, so that's our immediate food needs dealt with. We'll be dealing with um, farming, making wheat, making bread in a later episode. So while that's cooking, let's carry on looking down here just quickly. Water sources are always an annoyance. Just stick something in the source block and it's easier to move around, look around to see what the area is hiding. So in this case unfortunately is not that much. But still, let's move on. Oh, no, no. oh here we go. This is what I was looking for. Uh, is that? Yeah, that's the last of the iron anyway. Okay, so let's get back to our smelter. There we go. Alright, so we've got some chicken and let's get this iron in. That one lump of coal will cook all that. Seven. So that will give us. Well, we can make a bucket and an iron pickaxe, and we are effectively back where we were. <laughs> so, oh well. Um, never mind. While uh, while we're looking at this, this uh, this wood and these this fence posts and all that and all the iron and the rails, it can all be taken up and used as resources. Mossy cobblestone, though admittedly you can make that yourself now, but. Uh, um, how are we doing? All right, let's grab some of that. And I know I said make a bucket first, but seeing as we're going to be making both, I shall make an exception this one time. And we shall make ourselves the pickaxe first because we're lacking a pickaxe. So there we go, iron pickaxe, that's excellent. Let's make use of that to get down there. Let's see all the yummy stuff we're missing down there. Right, let's get some cobblestone on my bar. It's not where I wanted to put that. Right, let's deal with you. Always coming back for more. There we go, that's that one sorted. Alright, let's make ourselves a quick stairway down here. There we go, and get some of this place illuminated a little bit. Look around here, more iron, excellent. And we need to go deeper, so I think this is going to be a good base of operations, presuming, of course, I don't get blown up at the start of the next episode. So, what were our plans? Our plans were to make lots and lots of iron. What happened? We got blowed up. But still, we can recover from this. And while I'm thinking about it, I will have this chest. Thank you. Uh, if we're going to be here for a little bit, we're going to need a bit of storage. So, slightly anticlimactic episode but I'm going to put it up today just to show there are ups there's the downs and also it's an important thing here just how quickly one can recover from problems so we had a problem we had an unexpected creeper I'm going to go back and watch this video later on and see what happened I get the feeling it dropped out somewhere up high uh, because I didn't see it walking up to me on that, on that path but never mind it's not the end of the world we're here we have loads of opportunities here. There's loads of resources for us to gather. Loads of iron for us to gather, which is important. So next episode, we shall pick up this episode's targets, which is to make a load of iron, then to make some armor, then to go back to spawn and make ourselves a spawn house. 
Well, I've been Simon Parsons, and this has been an explosive Minecraft episode. Thank you, and good night.